the computer would also open the door to the next generation of imaging devices. In the 1960s, X-ray was the world's primary imaging tool, and the Beatles its favorite rock and roll band. Both would affect the future of medical imaging. X-rays had limitations. The brain was difficult to image because it was blocked by the skull. The only way to X-ray it was through a painful and dangerous process called encephalography, in which the brain was injected with air. Slowly breathe in and out, okay? Okay. Good. The advent of computerized tomography, or the CAT scan, would not only image the brain, but turn ordinary x-rays into vivid 3D images of bone and soft tissue. This revolution in medicine may have never come about, however, without a revolution in the music industry. In the early 60s, the Beatles were well on their way to becoming the most successful band in history. Their recording company, Britain's EMI, used some of the staggering profits to allow one of their engineers, a self-described tinkerer, to develop ideas that would take advantage of new computer technology. The engineer, Godfrey Hounsfield, began dreaming of ways for computers to make 3D images of objects inside a box. Soon he turned the challenge into producing 3D images of a brain inside a skull. The CAT scanner places the X-ray coil in a rotating donut-shaped carriage, capable of taking cross-sectional images from dozens of angles. Computers analyze and assemble all the X-rays into a single image. In 1972, EMI, with virtually no experience in medical electronics, began developing the CAT scan based on Hounsfield's design. All of a sudden we have a vehicle that allows us to image the brain, to see the brain substance, the, the subarachnoid spaces, the ventricles of the brain to detect and localize and characterize tumors. The density discrimination between computed tomography and ordinary x-rays is many, many hundreds of fold greater. By 1977, EMI had sold 700 of the units, including one to George Washington Medical Center in Washington, D.C.